yeah. I agree play the game. I agree with you on yeah. that one. There's, there, there's also um, the fact that there seems to be a, a, a sweet or a something change is going on in Africa. And we a, get a feeling... A mo the momentum is building. Yeah, it's building. The momentum for change. It hasn't reached full stretch yet, but we're, it's we're, we're feeling yeah, it. But that's how I, it I, I, I think we've already seen change. I, I don't think there's ever been a time any region uh, on that calf was as bold enough to, to challenge say, we are back, whatever you're going to do, we are backing this guy. And um, <laughs> like a friend of mine used to say, used to be on the spoken all time, anybody that comes up and say, I'm contesting against you, gets a bit down. You know, mm -hmm. somehow, yeah, you don't yeah. just get a beat down, mm -hmm. and towards the election, you don't hear the person's name again. Uh, it looks and, like and after the election, it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> Dead and buried. But it looks like there's a change. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, a region saying, uh, and, and there's also something thrown in the mix. You know, some people saying, look, CAF is not for francophone uh, people. I don't know how that comes into the equation as well. Yeah, but the, the francophone, the anglophone divide, yeah, it's, it's always, it's, it's always yeah. been a factor. It's also an interesting thing. Um, uh, tr thrown up, and some people say um, the, the ploy to silence some people this time has not really worked. You have people uh, who have been questioned, oh, uh, you did this like you know, inviting some key officials mm. outside of your region to a supposed birthday party, and you get questioned for it. You know, all of those things coming up and it's generating a lot of heat. This one is going to be keenly contested. Mm. I, it's, I don't think. Ever since I've been monitoring CAF, uh, it's like to looks ruffled. That, that's for me what looks like. Yeah, let, 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 let me, looks yeah, ruffled. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let, let me let, let's talk about this some 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 more. Let's deepen this discussion a little <laughs> bit. Um, the president or the president of the FA of Madagascar, Ahmad Ahmad. Mm. Yes. Um, when he, initially when he threw in his hat into the ring, everybody felt another one is coming. Yeah, another person who is going to go down. Who is going to go down easily? But. Nobody took, nobody took notice of the fact that this man is an executive committee member of CAF already. Which qualifies him. Which qualifies him. Mm. And then, being an executive committee of CAF, he also has his alliances and those who will be for him or who may be against him. I, I was he already is aware of the politics. I was coming to that. Yeah. Another intrigue going into March elections is the fact that from up top, I mean from FIFA level, mm. well, there's well, also... There's we'll also, talk about the FIFA angle yeah, today. But, I was, but, but the, let's the, start with the CAF angle. Yeah, yeah. The, what I'm saying is that there's also the intrigue of who is for, uh, who is for Ayatu, who is for Ahmad. Where is that support? Because you like it or not, the support from up top is very, very much important. It is. The stance they mm. take towards the selection. Yeah, we're going to talk about that because the reason why FIFA looks interested in this one is because of the position of CAF during the FIFA elections. You know, CAF took a position. Yep, stand. yep. Took a stand, and it was not an Infantino stand. All block right. Block votes. Block vote for someone. But, but even at that time, that block vote didn't come from Africa. Some guys already made up their mind that they were not going to tow a few. CAF's line. So a few. That, yeah, a few. a few. But that crack was beginning to Evident. show at that time, and it culminated in CAF's block candidate not winning the election. It was always going to be a breakaway once that happened. Yeah, but if, if you lead a football organization that is global and um, one of the bodies under you ha can pull 54 or 55, you take them uh, seriously, uh, it, it could be a deciding factor in a whole uh, lot of issues. That, that has been cause for change mm. uh, in many quarters. And I was listening to you, I think it was uh, yesterday, you were saying, let's define what change actually means. So, co cause for change... Incubancy is no longer an advantage, is <laughs> yes. it? If you listen to the guinea bissau mm. FA, FA president, um, Opes Manuel Nascimento, um, he has another theory. And that's the theory that some people want to go with. Maybe a part of me also wants to go with. That maybe there's also a revenge mission in here. Yeah, it's a possibility. You know, from up top, like you said. It's a possibility. We knew our stance towards the FIFA yeah, elections. Yeah. And there's been talk about Infantino also meeting us some African football leaders separately. You of know, course. Building uh, yeah. up to the March mm. 16 elections. So all of this mm. also puts Ayatu under a shade of uncertainty. Yeah, but, but, but that's not the first time it is happening. Sir Blatter tried to yeah. check out Isa Ayatu. A number of times. Three occasions yeah. during the elections. 
you know, probably. But you get a feeling that Ayato and, and, and Blatter, there's a bromance between these two guys. Yeah, okay. yeah. After after they after they fought it out, yeah. Then there was a falling out. Yeah. After, 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 yeah. after they falling out, there was a falling in for Ayato and Blatter. At some point, and Ayato Blatter. contested uh, against Blatter. Against Blatter. Yeah. And all of those uh, animosities um, came up. Added, but they found a way to settle it. This one is interesting because I, I still stick to the fact that a lot of people have gotten bolder. You know, and, and that's why we have to start paying uh, whoever shows up now um, attention. And, and I think in, in past, CAF has always been made, uh, able to make dissenting voices get quiet or make, force them to toe the line. Or just pack things up. <laughs> with, with whichever power they use to do that, I don't know. But now, a lot of voices like Musa Abiliti and a lot of them are just getting louder and louder and louder. And now it looks to me that we have a contest. In the past, it wasn't never a contest. Somebody just shows up and runs away uh, when it's time for the election. Now we're going to get a contest that it looks like it's going to be keenly contested. Mm. But, but, um, what, what, what if? Uh, Guys, let's talk about what if. Mm. Because the, the plan now is, is Kosafa is giving block votes um, to Ahmad Ahmad. That's what they've decided, okay. uh, the Kosafa region. And they're already venturing into other regions uh, 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 together. Even before result. they decided that they wanted to give a block vote, they had done a lot of work on some other regions to mobilize enough support. Look, it is 54. It's a, it's a game of numbers. Yes. It is 54. Yes. Once you are sure that you have more than 27. You're almost I mean, there. While this theory comes into it now, a lot of people might probably use this as an opportunity to express their displeasure yeah. uh, at probably Isayatu. On some number of occasions, uh, remember it was taken to court by Egypt before uh, the Afghan over issues of, of TV rights. Um, at that point, there were some people f were beginning to fly the kite that maybe CAF will take his headquarters away yeah, from Cairo. Yeah, there was a plan to Cairo. do that. Move them so, away so from Cairo. Yeah. There are countries even outside In Kusafa, North Africa, even outside that Kusafa region that are not. Mm. Okay, but to do mm. the mathematics. Yeah. Oh, oh, hold on, our time is up for, for the first uh, half of the show. The <laughs> first part of the show, really, not the first half. Um, let's go on this break. When we return, we'll, we'll keep talking and we expect you to join us um, in this discourse. We'll be right back.